Hi, my name is Andronica Mapohoshe. I'm the MMC responsible for corporate services at JB Marks local municipality. Today we're at the Madiba Banqueting Halls attending the GBV workshop for our male employees. We thought that it's important to provide such an opportunity and this platform for our male employees. As we know, normally when we discuss gender-based violence, it's a conversation we have with females and males are often excluded from the conversation. So we're just here today to, to bring this platform to the employees, our male employees specifically, for them to be able to have access to information about GBV, where they can also find help for GBV. We've got different stakeholders here. We've got the South African Police Service. We've got the Department of Health, we've got legal aid, we've got ministers. So the gentlemen at JB Marks Local Municipality, they're learning a lot um, and I think that they'll be well equipped to handle and deal with the issues of gender-based violence whereby sometimes they are the perpetrators, sometimes whereby they even suffer from the abuse themselves. So we hope that through this platform um, we can shed a better light on the topic and assist our male employees going forward regarding gender-based violence. I am Munyahan in Daupan, the employee health and wellness professional managing our unit that deals with the general employee wellness. So why we're having this event today is because as part of the national drive to address the issue of gender-based violence within the country. We saw it fit that as a unit because one of our key performance areas is to address uh, health and productivity. So we believe that if our employees are healthy, they'll be able to perform as expected. So within that key performance area, there's also an issue of health awareness. Hence, we chose to have these kinds of awareness sessions with our employees. We started in August, we had a focus on the employee, female employees. That was very successful. Then we thought uh, we shouldn't uh, do them jointly, so we'll organize one for males. That's why we're having the event today. So. The rationale behind it is that our people should have knowledge in terms of what gender-based violence is, uh, how they can change their behavior so that if we change their behavior as individuals within our families, we'll be able to change their behavior in the community and that's why we're having this drive as a municipality to join hands and promote awareness going through so but we're hoping that it, it won't be just awareness this will replicate into uh, people changing their behavior and we have uh, employees that are behaving responsibly and not perpetuating gender-based violence so that we should have a better society and society that doesn't have such a high rate because apparently Portage Stream is rated amongst the highest in terms of gender-based violence. So that, that is one of the reasons why we felt as a municipality we need to address it. We also formed a partnership with other stakeholders like social development, the SAPS, correctional services, the NPA. So some of the stakeholders that are here today uh, were, were in the previous event of uh, female employees but some are not here today like the NPAs. So the NPAs deals with a victim empowerment or assisting the victim to go through the process, you know, the justice system. So they are not here today but in the previous events they were here so they were really explaining how the processes go because we find that our people when they have experienced or have gone through that uh, uh, domestic violence they don't know what are the resources available so it's important that we, when we organize this kind of events we have all the stakeholders that are dealing with such issues on board so that people know where to go. Yeah, my name is David Tiberi. I'm uh, with the Gender-Based Violence uh, Workshop for Men. 
uh, we are learning a lot. Uh, the workshop so far has gone through a few of the presentations. One has been a religious perspective. We've learned a lot from it. And then uh, we're now in the session for the medical uh, perspective. Uh, Dr. Muti taught us a lot with the spiritual stuff and uh, has gone beyond and discussions were held where men are gaining a lot of insight and are being assisted in that regard. We're now dealing with the medical issues that affect men and we're also getting a lot of uh, learnings from Dr. Siko who has a lot of insight as well. So in the middle of that process uh, there's been a lot of engagement prior and then uh, I think it's a good program which EAP has brought to us uh, which we might need on an annual basis uh, based on what men are going through especially dealing with the aspect of gender-based violence it would be a good good initiative that would need to be expanded on a continuous basis